Ah, welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3. Something which I actually didn't do as much as I thought I would last episode. I thought I'd die horribly. I died a few times, but I actually welcome was more close to death and thought, oh crap, I'm going to die more than I did. But now let's level up and also go over what levels do, because I didn't really know. Oh, it does, right. It does have the Dark Souls 2 thing. So Tumen is, of course, that and spell slots. Don't know how many I need. Oh, right. First off... Before I do that, just because I prefer to level up all at once, I found it a lot easier to tell what's going to happen. Oftentimes you have things where it's hard to tell what's going to happen until you get through the entire thing. Like attunement, for instance. Attunement slots are often things you can only get if you spend two at a time, or you, other stuff is just always two at a time. I'm curious if... Is it 16? No, it's much higher than 16. Okay. Health, that's about 24. 24 per, from the looks of it. Endurance is... Oh, that's nice. Vitality, 49, 49 equipped load. Not a huge deal. I mean, it's like that's the one thing about the, the endurance vitality split, is there isn't much reason to get endurance over vitality right now. And of course, I lack sufficient Titanite charts. Oh, Faith does not increase my FP. Only Attunement does. Okay, so at this point, my best bet is probably Endurance and maybe Dexterity? Like, if I look at the boost I get for either, it's actually the same right now for scaling. So... I'm gonna raise that up, I think. I'm pretty sure the Dex and Strength scaling are about the same, but maybe Strength's a bit higher? I don't know. Although I wonder if... No, 40 is not going to be enough to put on that knight armor. Uh, maybe I should just bump up endurance a lot. I'm going to need stamina. Actually, attunement and endurance, because I'm going to need both. A word vigor would be a better option. Ah, I should probably get some health. Okay, stamina and health. All right. It's a bit better. Oh, right. I have an Ember Shard. I, mean, I don't know if there's going to be a point in the game where I get so many souls where I get leveled up freely, because I feel like I probably yeah, might be over-leveled a bit. Me. Just given how quickly or slowly I get... No, not you. How many shards do I even have? I have one. Reinforced Lask. And... I think five and one still going to be good. Until I get Lightning Spear or similar ranged miracles like that, I don't see the point of increasing my... or focusing too much on Ash and Estus. Like, it comes up, but it doesn't seem to be a big deal. Alright, so that was another path I actually didn't take. I'm going to take this time around. Last episode, I got to a path, and I kind of stopped after not finding a bonfire. This episode, I'm going to take the other path, because the other path is one that I haven't, take, haven't taken yet. I know it's on the first path. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna... Like, the thing with... Okay. The thing is, I'm probably not gonna be increasing my... Oh, you know what? I probably should do this the safe way. Like, if I want to run... Oh, come on. If I want to run back, I want to increase this the safer way. But as I was saying before that was so rudely interrupted. Ah, there we go. That's what I like. Stab you, and there's one more left. But yeah, as I was saying, I... Wait, what was I saying? I don't even remember what I was saying anymore. Sorry. If that was a train of thought that was of great importance, I apologize. But, oh right, I wanted to have a way of running back. So not particularly important. Handy, but not, you know, super important. Actually, wait, no, I should deal with that guy up there, too. Yeah, I have a way of running back that doesn't involve a homeward bone. I hope to find a bonfire, although at this... Oh, right, right, yeah, I don't know if there's going to be a point where I can level up a lot. I guess probably not. There never really was. But yeah, oh, right, no. Got the train of thought back. 
So my priority is going to be stamina. To a lesser extent, vigor a little bit, just because health is kind of precious. But stamina is going to be my big one. Endurance is going to be a big one for a while. Then vitality is also going to be fairly big when I have armor I want to wear that I can't. Elite Knight armor is something that I'm actually going to be prioritizing. Can I run past these guys entirely? Apparently. Ow. That was weird. Stab! So yeah, what's down here? It's a nice settlement you guys have going. Shame if something were to happen to it. Oh wait, I'm not actually offering you any deals to prevent said thing from happening. I'm just pointing out that I'm planning on making something bad happen to it. Repeatedly. Oh wow, that was close. I didn't expect that. I didn't know how that would work. Frame timings are just sometimes a little bit unpredictable. But yeah, what is this? So yeah. Stamina is one of those things that's always useful, especially for a rolling build. Health is, of course, useful because dying is bad. Dying is always bad. So, there's that. And you're... Oh, for crying out loud, I thought... Stab. That's why I get weapons with thrusting in their moose set. Trash. Like I said, I hope there's a something that allows me to trade that. I mean, I know that in 2 there wasn't, but in 2 there was also no way of getting rubbish other than breaking a chest. In 1 and 3 there was, and you could trade it for good stuff. A big Titanite. Like, Titanite's chunks? No, Titanite slabs, I think. No. It was Demon Titanite, I think you traded it for. Whoa! Wah! Stupid! Ah! Darn stables! Bullshit! Uh, yeah, I'm still going to use that Claymore. I wanted that Claymore earlier rather than later just because that means I have more time to get used to it. Because otherwise stuff like that happens where I end up getting myself killed because I didn't properly expect the thing that would happen and then I ended up getting myself killed and... You know, collision detection should be a thing. That's not... That's rude walking through the floor. You're making a mockery of the level designers. Silly zombie. Okay, well, since it doesn't seem like I actually have to worry too much about getting jumped, like if I don't actually attack those enemies over by the fire, I don't need to worry about the enemies over by the fire. I can just go straight past them. See ya. Oh. Okay. Looks almost like a thing I could get. Anyhow, yeah, so as I was saying, stamina's first, vitality, strength, dexterity, for the most part, is going to be stuff and faith if I need it for miracles. But at first, I'm going to be focusing on endurance and vigor for the most part. Mostly endurance. And then when I... Oops. Wow. Ah, fire bombing. Okay, anyway, once I've got... Once I have something I need to raise, then I'll focus on raising it. Like, if I need, if there's a weapon I want to wield, well, I mean, I don't know what the cross was going to require, but if there's an avalon, for instance, or some other cool thing, I might get that. And also, okay, so since I know how these things work, it's like, they drop down, and then I get a few free swings on, come on. There, what? There we go. Flambear's wielding ninja. Just perfect. Oh, what? Oh, it was Death Rattle. Okay, so yeah. When it comes to stats, I really don't want to level up stuff where it doesn't have... I, I guess Strength and Dexterity does have a scaling effect, so that is important. But the rest of it, no. Vicious Round sh Ah, what the... Someone's shooting at me. No, I can't read the shield. Oh, darn it. I swear a crossbow would be perfect. Okay. No poison, so it's not Blight Town. Anyway, what was the Caduceus round shield? I'm curious. Let's see. Standard round wooden shield. It is decorated with twin snakes, an ancient symbol of the Great Swamp. 
Wooden shields are light manage manageable enough for relatively high magic absorption. Okay, so Great Swamp. Which means we're either near Pyromancy or Blight Town. Or this game's Blight Town. Assuming this game has a Blight Town, which apparently it has a Blight Town. Maybe I'm in it. Okay, those are probably harmless. Well, they are harmless now. Uh, all my strategies for dealing this rely on a weapon I do not have. Although, admittedly, I do have a bow, but it's not the same thing. Solve an unknown traveler. Annoying enemy type I've never encountered before. Uh, let's get it away from this. Whoa. Do you explode? No, you just slam things. And I... Oh, that's like an armor piece almost. I, or not, not even an armor piece, it's like a wall almost. You got a portable wall. And I guess that flank means I can't backstab you. All right, whatever. Not dead. Important things are not dead. I mean, I guess I could... Ow! Okay, I'm sick of doing that. I'm just going to fix this problem. Problem is, I am hitting the left mouse button for something that's not there. What arrows should be in the weak attack slot, not the strong attack slot? Well, as long as I don't die, I'll be fine. I barely... Ah. How'd that miss? There we go. All right, all right, let's kill the rest of you. Yeah, I'm not liking this level as much as I did the last level. High Wall of Lothric, I like the design of that. This area, not so much. I mean, I have the bow and enough arrows for now. And we'll see soon enough. All right, so there's something over there. What the? Oh, I don't have to kill it. It's just sitting there. Fire clutch ring. If that's anything like it was, that is going to be increased fire damage for... Increased fire damage at the cost of defense. Compromises damage absorption, specifically the per absorption percentage. Which, yeah, it's a little bit cryptic. From what I understand, it's like damage absorption is a flat reduction, and then the defense value is some weird complicated square, some complicated quadratic formula related to both your defense and the opponent's attack rating, and it's a lot more complicated. Okay, so that's this path. Where did the paths ever meet up? I mean, we did see that shortcut in the other one that I couldn't get through yet. So maybe they do. I mean, right now, I don't really think they would, because there's no reason for me to believe that. The other path was over. Oh, for crying out loud! Ah! I can't believe I didn't even look. That was my bad. That was so my bad. Okay. Well, what else is there? So there's two of those guys that are pains in the butt. And above them, other bunch of treasure. No clue what kind of treasure it is, but treasure. Are there ninjas down here? There are dogs. They're headless dogs. Oh no, they're not headless. If they were headless, that would make life a lot easier because they wouldn't be able to bite me. But nope, they have heads. Much to my dismay, but not really to their benefit. See, I thought they were going to go for a horror vibe over, I guess, a functional vibe. <laughs> 
I don't know, this actually goes under. Maybe this is the way to get back to the other side. Oh, no. Actually, maybe, maybe not so bad. Maybe it'll be fine. No, it will be so bad. I can't... Can I hit them? Oh, I can. Okay, we're good. Oh, I was getting bad Dark Souls 2 flashbacks. In Dark Souls 2, that wouldn't have happened. Hitting them would have been impossible to sideswipe like that. I haven't played one in long enough to remember that it hasn't always been that bad. And Seistas, that's fists. Does it have anything on it, or is it just brass knuckles? Nope. Thick straps of leather studded with iron rivets. Okay. Although it looks like, according to the description, you actually don't need to have two to two-hand them. It's locked. Whoa! Okay. Well, yeah, this is pretty Blight Town. Oh, no, this is the Depths, not Blight Town. The Depths had the rat. Oh, wow. Okay. Ah! Darn it! I can't... I need to get back. What? Oh! Wrong button! There we go. Okay. <sighs> Alright, let's do this intelligently. Or at least wait for myself to heal up a little bit. And... Plunging attack! There we go! Oh, nice! That is useful. Bloodbite ring... Reduces the effect of blood of bleed. Increases bleed resistance, which how much? Nice. Increases it by 90. That's not bad. I wonder if there's a ring plus ones in this game. Like, there were in two. There weren't in one. And there were some things like plus one rings with the runes in Bloodborne. So I'm gonna guess yes, that there are gonna be plus one rings. That'll be heavier, but better. Well, it's a shortcut of sorts. I mean, I'm assuming those rats are going to respawn. Probably not the big rat. That really annoying big rat that nearly took me out. But didn't. And those are locked. I guess that's why there's a shortcut. Those are locked. Okay. What's out here? Which side am I on? Oh! This is the side that I was planning on going when I said, let's take the other path this episode. This is the path I was talking about. Oh, great. Titan Atlas has always spotted me. But yeah, this is the path I was talking about. Oh! That's why there's a shortcut there! Because there's a precious bonfire! And wouldn't you know it, I don't have enough levels to level... Actually, I just about have enough souls to level up. Okay, is there no way out of here? It looks like there's a path down here. There's a path under this broken bridge. Ah, yeah, okay. So there's a path back up. Oh, nice! I see what it is. So, normally, if I had taken the path that I was going to take, that I'd been planning on taking this episode, I would have actually hit that wall and gotten the does not open from this side message and gone, oh, crap, I guess I've got to go some other way. But now I actually got the shortcut first. That's a pleasant surprise. Sadly, there's nothing. I guess this is where the Titanite Lizard was. Totally missed it. I can get it later or another time. Presumably. I'm not actually sure how Titanite Lizard respawns work in this game. All right, well, I'm near a bonfire, so I might as well fight you. Ow, too early. Way too early. Okay, you calm now? Whoops. Take that as a no. You're not calm yet. All right, well, you seem to be having some issues with your aggression, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to calm down, sir. Sir, I, swinging that sword around like that is really not becoming behavior, sir. I'm, I'm going to have to ask you to just lay down. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your cooperation. All right, well, there's no items down here from the looks of it, unless I'm missing something. I guess that's just to kill you. Normally there'd be an item down there or something to risk your life for, but nope, not this time. All right. So up here, we kind of saw from the other side kind of where this ends up. 
Oh, maybe this is where I saw that shortcut before that I couldn't open, and now I can. Because there was a shortcut around here. We saw it last time. That was We were on the wrong side of the door that time. But this time, we might be on the right side of the door. As I progress this area backwards. All right. All right. This is definitely the reverse of where I was, but... Oh, nice. No! Not so nice. Not what I wanted. Let's try that again. Jumping this time. Rather than rolling and hoping for the best. Jumping usually works better. So that's... Is that a crossbow? Ah, you're annoying. Oh no, not you. Ah, how do I get to that treasure? The last thing I need right now is to stuff to fight. Now, I should get my ashen up. I should get my mana up. I know, I can probably beat that thing. It's just. I don't really want to have to bother. Oh, what? Oh, I thought it wasn't going to hit me. Right, it doesn't work. Ah, need to get off a of lock on. Heal up. Or Estus, rather, for healing. Oh, yeah, I can let that hit a wall. I no! Bad. Wrong. Ah. Do I have time to heal? I do, just barely. Man, this is annoying. Wow, did that just make a barrel bleed? Oh, it's just... I see, it's bleeding itself. Oh, I want you to die. I'd have you dead right now if, you, if I had a crossbow. Ah. Darn it. Maybe I should stick to the long sword. Crap like this keeps happening. And I still don't have that treasure up there, whatever it is. And it's like crap like this just keeps on happening. It's like I could go for, I would go for a swing, but I or the swing isn't gonna make a difference. That's not really the point. Now that asshole has to jump down. Oh, right, because there's sort of a reverse, inverse poise thing working here. That's right, I heard about that. It's like, enemies will... Ah, darn it. You've got to be kidding me! That was enough to hurt? I hate those stupid priest enemies so much. Like, that's not just salt. That's outright hatred. I hate that enemy design. I don't know what it is about that enemy design. I just, just can't stand it. Man, I don't know if today was even a good day to record. I've just been so salty today. Where are my souls? Oh, I've got to be kidding me. They're over there. I hate this priest enemy. Well, it's partly because their range just slightly is greater than mine, and partly is that one of the things the crossbow build, or sorry, the claymore build is kind of based off of is being able to to basically break your enemy's poise. Not the entire way the build works, but it's, oh, for crying out loud, how do I get to that? Seriously. Ugh. How many times have I tried that so far and died? So many ridiculous deaths. Alright, let's just try that again. I, I'm sorry, I don't really want to do repeated things too much. But I need to know what's there. What the? Okay. Ugh. Such a run back, too. I mean, I guess it's probably more, no more than 10 seconds or so, but it's still a pain in the butt. 
Like, you guys don't want to see me trying to jump on that ledge forever and ever. But I don't know how I'm supposed to do that, because I feel like there's some sort of invisible collision wall. Something. Oh, there we go. Finally! And it's a rusted coin. That's it. I mean, I guess if... If luck is as important as it seems like it might be, and actually I need to have that in order to get the crossbow that I so desperately need. Like, by killing the crossbow wielders from Highwall of Lothric, then I suppose Rusted Coin is good. But, that's not what I wanted. But like I said, if it does achieve that end, then I suppose it is what I wanted. Just not what I realized I wanted. Ah... <sighs> Okay. Well, you guys I can deal with no prop. Provided you have no assistance. Ugh. How am I supposed to get a media attack in this guy? Well, I guess I could just hit the tip. That works, I suppose. But something blew up from here. Oh, what? I, you can attack from right... Okay, there we go. That's why I like the... That's one of the reasons I really like the Claymore, is because I can do swings like that and it just hits everything around me. It really deals with crowds well. Okay, the whip. So, oh, leather whip. Works well against everything that's not armored. But I don't really care to use that, so, yeah. Oh, nice. You can actually get around shields with this weapon. I don't plan to use it. I just want to double check what weapons are. I actually did play around a little bit with the move sets of all the weapons just to see what they were. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, this is the reverse of the area I was just in past the part that I was going. Oh, I wonder what's past here. You know what? I'm just going to go back home or bone. I was that close to a bonfire. I was that close to a bonfire. Oh, well. It's down here. Titanite Shard! All right! I mean, I guess I don't really have anything straightforward to upgrade. Like, I could upgrade my armor. But my weapons need more Titanite Shards than just that much. Those corpses do not contain items. I don't care. But hey, more Titanite's always good. Not gonna complain about Titanite. What is this area for? Is this something I can break? No, it just seems to be kind of there. One thing I've noticed, I haven't found any secrets, which means I probably don't know how to find secrets in this game yet. Also... Oh, right, that was the red-eye guy I was worried about last time. Which means that at this point, I'm basically going around in circles, and should probably keep going forward. Because I've now circled around and have found... No, this can't be right, there's something up there. I can see, I think, the glow of an item. But that's boarded up. There's no way to get through there. And the path that's basically blocked off... Actually, where is that path? Oh, it's that path further up. Okay, so I need to go through that house. Through all the scary parts in order to get to the part I was at. I'll probably deal with that from the other bonfire. But that'll be in the next episode, since it's, that's been about half an hour. Because, yeah, the bonfire does have that I can go with. Like, the bonfire back where I was. So I could use that. Because, I mean, going through here, that's going to get me, once again, through all the rats and everything. And that area is... That's eh, not an easy, great area to get through. And also, I just want to get through the other side. Who knows what's there? Probably not a crossbow, but... I'm getting less and less convinced that there's any crossbows in this game anymore. Seriously, it's just every single time I look for them, I don't find them. <sighs> Unless I, I feel like I missed it early on, or like I said, maybe it's dropped. Maybe I need to rusted coin my way up to getting something off of farming. <sighs> Alright. Let's level up endurance again, I guess. Still feel kind of like I need that. Hmm, well, on the other hand, like if I bump up strength and dexterity, that means my weapon's more powerful. And then if I do that, that means that I have 
more attack power, which is always good. I don't think... Oh, it does. Actually, they both do? Oh, okay, so my physical defense... Oh, okay, I guess d strength is on a threshold or raise my standard defense numbers, and dexterity is not. Oh, okay, it's entirely based on level. All the vitality will increase that and increase equip load. Uh, I don't know. Let's bump up. I will need vitality at some point, so this isn't a bad investment, although it may not be a good investment at this time. Like, right now. Uh. Let's just go with dexterity. Bump up my weapon strength just a touch. You haven't got anything new, have you? I mean, I know she mentioned something about giving her some kind of ash, but honestly, I don't even know what that would mean in this context. Ashen one. All right, cool. And I have 66% equip load. And I have no easy way to just, I can't add much to it without breaking everything, so nope. Do that, because that's gonna be way too heavy. So that adds seven pounds, and I guess 70%, somewhere around 32 pounds, I guess? Like, if I take both of these off, and then I switch this for the knight armor, that's barely gonna work. And that's worse defense that I'd have if I didn't do that. So, no. And worse absorption and everything, so that's not worth it. I do want to have, like I said, if elite knight armor is a thing in this game, like it has been in the last two, part of what I want to do. But I don't think it is. Somehow I doubt it. Yeah, I mean, granted, this does add seven pounds I don't necessarily need. If I drop these, then I could put on the Lothric Knight armor. And eh, not the leggings, though. But put on the armor. It's not bad, though it does mean I have no backup weapon if I need to have a faster swing. Although, can I? Aw, oh, no, just barely can't. Okay, see, this is why I wanted to bump up Vitality, but I can't really use it too much now. Especially since eventually I do want to have Longsword as backup and Crossbow eventually, and the bow is handy. Ah, just too much. Oh, actually, no, no, I will put Lothic Knight Leggings on, and then I'll put back on my Cleric Gloves. There we go! I'm under 70%. And I think my absorption's higher than it was. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So now let's go back to where I will end off this episode and where I started off this episode, come to think of it. The Undead Settlement Bonfire. We're getting farther, getting farther, making progress, but... Eh. <laughs> Sometimes it's not always the most linear, clear-cut progress. All right, so that was that episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll have another episode... Want to have it, so until then, good night. Or wait, something I want to do. Bye. A small addendum, Dark Souls fans. I forgot a couple things. I got this pilgrim guy back to Firelink Shrine, so let's talk to him for a little bit. Oh, our champion of Ash. Welcome home. Hello. This pilgrim, with a debt in death, hardly deserves to behold this divine flame. And I never would have, had you not taken me into your service. I thank you dearly for this, and assure you of my leal service. Must you say that? So, oh, what? Then shall we begin? Oh! Bearer of the Dub. What? Whoa. Okay. I didn't expect this. Oh, I didn't, I didn't bump up Vitality, did I? 
Huh. Might want to, actually. Oh, I see. That was just straight up. Hey, here you go. And otherwise, it's all sorcery. That was As nice I of you. Said, I was once a sorcerer. Alas, the magic of Londor is a far cry from the wonders of Vinheim. But I can teach you what I know. Perhaps, more importantly, I believe that I can help tease out your true strength. We pilgrims of Londor are keenly aware that those branded by the dark sign possess something quite special. Well, you certainly gave me an extra level, which is but nice. I oh. weep. But though you are repeating yourself, and you are done. But thank you for the level. Wow, okay, that was really good. Good thing I double-checked they were there. So what does that mean for equip load? Well, it's not much. I can't have the bow or anything without going above 70, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Yeah, the weight difference between these two is still huge. Like, that's, seven, that's six pounds. That's nine pounds. No. Seven pounds. Oh, hey, actually, it is enough. How about that? Ah, no, no, not, not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Cleric gloves. Okay, so that's actually worse, I think. Oh, worse straight physical, but it changes a couple other stuff. Not even sure what's better. If I could somehow fit the leather gauntlets on. Oh, that doesn't help much. Okay. All right, I should probably. I'll mess with this on my own. See if I can optimize something, but from a fashion jewel's perspective, this is honestly kind of worse. I think I'm just going to go back to what I had before. And also, what I had before did work fairly well, and I think I can I can put on leather gauntlets, so that actually is about what it was before. Actually, that's better! Awesome! So that's a better option, and it looks okay. It's more the leggings problem. Also, while I was trying to figure out where that character was for this addendum, I found another character up here somewhere. Alright, it was up on the ledge. Looked like Lictio Mira. No. There he is. Mm. Who are you? Unkindled, are we? And fast on the trail of the Lords absconded? Then these red eyes are for you. Ah, Mr. Invader. Pillage Embers and briefly heighten your strength for your duty. What else are unkindled ashes good for? <laughs> I noticed that there's no one who's here for co op, but yet there's a character specifically here for invasions. Pillage Embers, what else are unkindled? Huh, okay, well. Okay. I guess I should be gracious, even though I'm... Once I manage to find the Covenant of Warrior of Sunlight at heart. But okay, so yeah, that was that. So next episode, we'll be back at the Undead Settlement. And that is the actual end of the episode. So thanks again for watching, and good night!